O oh God, save me by your name. By your power, defend my cause. O oh God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant we pray that we may revive, that we may receive their healing effects with joy, and reflect them in the holy way of life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, let us be said the just one, because he is, up, is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God, and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God, neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all, out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the broken heart. He watches over all his bones; not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the broken heart. Thank you. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of Heaven's glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of Heaven's glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of Heaven's glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus moved about within Galilee and did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feasts of tabernacles were his near. And when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, He is not the one they are trying to kill. Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When Jesus comes, no one will know where he is from. Excuse me, when the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me, and you also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Our Gospel has Jesus coming to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Booths, which was a reminder, at least mostly even more so now for the Jewish people of their times spent in those booths during their exile, that they're reminded of that freedom that the Lord had given to them so that they might be able to uh, come out of Egypt and live in the Lord and with the Lord. And likewise, it's that reminder, too, that all through the journey of the Israelites that our Lord, or the presence of our Lord in the tabernacle was always in a tent, that there was that sense. So it's that reminder, too, that the Lord's presence was there until the temple was built. And for the people, they would recognize that, but they also recognize that aspect of our Lord, that the Lord is, again, not waiting for anyone to testify to him because he knows who he is. He's just trying to remind people of who he is. And so he has that openness to speak, that openness to allow people to say, hey, this can't be the Christ because the Christ, no one will know where he is from, but the Lord is saying, Though you know my human origins, you do not know my divine origins. You do not know completely who I am, that I am from God and am God. And for us, as we celebrate this Lenten season, we become in that communion with the Lord. That we, in similar way of Moses coming into the tent and being in that presence of God, so that we might have that connection. So that we might, we might ourselves might testify to God because we know who the Lord is. My dear sisters and brothers, let us always take this opportunity throughout Lent and throughout our lives to know the Lord, so that we might be in confidence, unlike the people in our reading, knowing Christ in our lives. And through that, may we bear witness to Him each and every day. My dear sisters and brothers, with confidence in the God who heals the brokenhearted, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That God's people may be a source of mercy and kindness to those whose spirits are crushed, we pray to the Lord. <laughs> that the elected candidates may draw close to the God who heals them, we pray to the Lord. <laughs> that God may confront evildoers and bring forth their repentance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that God may restore in strength the bones of those broken by abuse and violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick may take refuge in the God who heals and saves. We pray to the Lord. Lord that God may count us among the just who serve him. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for Bernice O'Brien, as well as for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord that God may deliver the dead into life everlasting. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for your own intentions. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord Celeste, yes, for prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear, hear us, O God, our refuge, and rescue us from our distress. He'll restore us in these Lenten days, that we may declare your saving help, praising you always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed God. God. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and a blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices be praised, join with theirs, and humble praise as we have claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body of blood Christ, we have be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring you to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. We be married to be co heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Then not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In Christ we have redemption by his blood and forgiveness of our sins in accord with the riches of his grace. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Today let us pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, our world, and of our community. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, Mother of God. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Together us pray the prayer to our mother. Mother of mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified the state of holy motherhood. Imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all-powerful intercession, call me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in me I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of Mothers. Mother of 